All right, I'm just going to break up a few sections and series from what we've gone over in the mobility morning movement medicine. Um, some of you have made some requests about specific routines, so we're going to go through uh, this routine that I've kind of developed for the lower back. So we'll go through this, and uh, if you're having trouble with your lower back, with your hips, with stiffness, um, you can go through this twice a day, three times a day. Um, when I was taking care of my uh, grandfather-in-law, uh, trying to move him and do different things with him, and I had to come up with so many things to alleviate the pain in my lower back. And uh, this is one of the mainstays. This is one of the things that I would do anytime I'd feel my lower back start to stiffen up. So what happens is, is the stiffness sets in, and then the body, the mind starts to protect it, and then the way the, the body and the mind protects it is just immobilization. It just doesn't want you to move. And the less you move, the more the stiffness sets up. The more the stiffness sets up, you lose the elasticity in the muscle for the muscle to extend and release. And then everything else shuts down. And that's when your glutes go dormant. And when your glutes go dormant, that's uh, the, old, the old gluteal amnesia. Your glutes forget to work and then everything else has to take up the slack. So we're going to start off, we're going to do 10 worth taking our back and pushing our lower back to the ground. So I want your feet flat. Don't let the knees lay out to the side. I want the feet flat. I want the palms facing down and then make the effort to keep your shoulders in connection with the ground. So what I'm going to do here is this gap in my lower back, I'm going to push my lower back down, lift my hips up, and then lift my lower back up, push my hips down. This is kind of hard to see, but we're going to push the lower back down, push the hips down, lift the hips up by pushing the lower back down, lift the back up by pushing the hips down. That's two. As long as it doesn't hurt, lift it higher each time. Basically, this is the pelvic tilt that I try to teach you guys, except we're on the ground. Now I'm getting pretty aggressive now, really bending my lower back, really lifting my hips. Good, now drop the lower back. Now, I'm gonna to try to keep my lower back engaged with the ground. And the way I do that is just by a slight tension through my core. So I've got my belly button pulled back and in. I'm not letting that lumbar go into the curve. So my sits bones, there's actually, I'm lifting by, by pushing my lower back down, I'm lifting my glutes. Now, if you fatigue and it gets to a point where you can't hold it, then don't worry about doing it. Let it let it release. But that's that's the effort I'm doing because I want <clears throat> in restorative yoga. One of the things you try to do is you feel weightless. I will put myself up in slings and and use this machine here everything I can to unweight or deweight my joint so that joint will expand. Well, that's what I'm trying to do by getting my back flat. It feels stable and protected. I've got my hips up, which is what I want to, what I want to mobilize. I want to get my hips mobile. All right. Hands are flat. Deep breath in. Now, keeping our shoulders connected with the ground, we're just letting our knees fall to the side. One. One. Breathe in on the way up, breathe out on the way down. Two. Two. Three. Three. 
four, four, five, five. Good. Now I'm only doing five now, but I would suggest when you do this on your own, do ten. Because I want you to memorize this. If you have issues with your lower back, you need to memorize these movement patterns. And I would suggest you do 10, nice and easy, dictated by the breath. Now, you can't throw them back and forth. That's creating tension. Attention. What you're wanting to do is create extension. So what I want you to do is breathe them into length. Now, I'm going to take my left leg, cross it over my right now I'm going to keep my shoulders in connection with the ground. Then I'm going to let my left foot drop and I'm going to look to the left. If I feel okay, I'm just going to stay here and breathe. Good, does everything feel all right? If it feels all right, now we're gonna go into this rotation. I'm gonna come up and I'm going to use my left leg to push my right leg down. One, foot down, two, foot down. Keep those shoulders in contact with the ground. Keep the palms facing down. Three, foot down, four, foot down, five, now I'm going to take five breaths here. Good. Come back up to center. Cross the right leg over the left. Now I'm going to drop the right foot down. Look over my right shoulder. Five breaths. Good, now I'm going to come up, take it down. I just heard a reset in my spine, up in my thoracic spine. That's because my vertebrae are starting to relax. The muscles are starting to relax around my spine because I'm doing gentle rotations. I'm not forcing anything. Some of you just go and try to touch your toes and that, that's not doing, I mean, it, it feels it's a short-term fix, but it's not getting your spine to relax. This is about your spine. Good. Now I'm going to breathe five times. Went a little fast on those. Good. Come back. <clears throat> now cross the left leg back over the right. Now we're going to have three different areas here. If you're really having a whole lot of trouble here, you, you might not be able to do this. So you might need to get a strap or a belt. All right. And I'm not going to get up and get a strap or a belt right now, but if you take a strap or a belt, and then you take it over this leg, then you're going to be able to pull it towards you. So have a strap or a belt, do whatever you can. Now the next strap or belt, then the next one is just reach through and come around the back of the leg. That's the second one. The third one and the one I want you to progress to is I want you to come up, get your hands around your shin, and then I want you to be able to relax back. 
And that's what we're looking for, being able to bring, bring this up. Now my back is completely flat against the ground. I'm feeling the tension in the hip, not in my lower back. That's what we want to work on. We want to get to the point where we can stretch the hip out and not have the lower back be tight. All right, let's take five pulse breaths here. Now remember, I am, when I'm breathing in, I'm letting it go down. When I'm breathing out, I'm bringing it up. Keep the head in contact with the ground. Bring the hips up, not the other upper body up. One more. Let's do five breaths here. Good. Let's switch. Remember, this is when you're going to take your belt or your strap, put it, put it around, or you're going to reach up, grab the leg, or you're going to go to the progression where you come up, grab the shin, and then relax back. All right, let's take five breaths. Hold for five breaths. Good. Now, when you're doing that, I don't want you doing this. Okay, that's not what we're trying to do. We're trying to roll the hip up. All right, let it down. Okay, should feel pretty good now. Now, what you can do is just go ahead and go through that again or you know, go ahead and get up and be done. I'm gonna go ahead and do what's called the bretzels. Uh, we do it in Strong First for Brett Jones or um, there's a uh, uh, functional movement uh, that does this as well. But it's just um, a good spine release. So I'm gonna show it to you. If you have had issues with doing the things we've done up to here for up to this point. Do not do this. This is a finisher that if everything's feeling great and wonderful and you've been able to accomplish all this without any strain, then this is a great finisher. If uh, you've had any issues whatsoever, do not do this. Do you hear me? Okay, you know who I'm talking to. I'm talking to you. Don't do it unless you can do all the other things we've done up to this point. He won't listen. He never listens. All right, I'm gonna take my left hand, I'm gonna put it on my right foot. I'm gonna let that leg drop all the way down. I'm gonna take my right hand, put it on my left leg, and I'm going to breathe it to the side. All right. Two. Three, four, shoulders coming up, <clears throat> five, good, hang out here for five breaths, good, I'm going to change in the air now. Left hand, right foot, point that leg. If you can't get this leg flat on the ground, there's no use in you doing this. If this leg has to come up like this, all you're doing is putting yourself in a bind. My leg is flat, that means I'm getting extension through the hip flexor complex. Taking my right hand, putting it over my... I, I just did that, right? Yeah, okay. Gotta point this leg. Teach or teach thyself. All right, left hand over right leg gonna look over the right shoulder breathe this over remember this leg's got to stay in contact with the ground try to keep the shoulder the right shoulder 
in contact with the ground. One more. Good, five breaths. Good, bring it up. Now as Kelly Sterrett would say, test, retest. Now we put our palms flat on the ground, get our back flat, then let their legs fall to the side. There we go, good. Okay, nice. well, the video decided to shut off, but you got the idea, test, retest on that last thing. Okay, so that's the lower back. Just memorize that series. Like I said, I go through 10. When you lift the legs up off the floor, that's the breathe in. Then the exhale, enter the release. Take it nice and slow, nice and easy. You can get that done 10, 15 minutes keep the back loosened up. We're not trying to force anything. We're just trying to keep the lower back loose so we can move and give it a chance maybe to realign. Um, when I do the frog uh, series, uh, that's where I get a lot of big realignment. Um, hanging is great if you have some place in your home that you can just grab and hang, lift your knees up in the air and turn back and forth. Those are all um, <clears throat> realignment and if you uh, believe in chiropractors, chiropractors can do that, but you have to strengthen the position. And if you're tight and stiff, that chiropractor's not going to be able to do a whole lot. So these gentle, gentle movements will help you to be able to loosen that area up within reason. Remember, you're trying to work with the body, not against it. All right, I hope this helps. Have a great day.